This is the Rode Wireless Me microphone. There's two of them. This is the receiver and is a transmitter. What makes these a little different? The receiver has a microphone. And what I find is that I, I like to have a microphone on the camera and then another microphone on me. Now, little problem is this. There isn't a 3.5 millimeter jack for audio on this camera anywhere. But, get this. This microphone has uh, a 3.5 millimeter out. Also has a USB-C. Hooking up that USB-C allows you to plug into a phone or a computer and make adjustments to the microphone and also charge it. But I noticed it's got the, the little signal on it there, the little insignia there, that says it does other things. So went ahead and plugged it in. So now we're plugged to the bottom of the DJI Pocket 3. And we're gonna turn the microphone on and we'll see what happens. Microphone's on. And I can tell it's working because of that top bar up there. Now, I haven't made any adjustments at all, so I, I have no idea what the audio is going to sound like. And I haven't even figured out a way to mount this stuff together yet. You don't need a 3.5 millimeter adapter to use a microphone that already does USB. Good to know. Let's record it. Okay, one more trick I'm going to show you. Okay, so we're going to shoot some... A little 4K video, Not a lot, just kind of messing around at my messy yard. And we'll bring it in and show you. This is set at 4K 60. I've got the uh, garbage truck driving by. Let's take it. Let's take it into the computer now. Wait till you get a load of this. We'll get a screen recording going on the iPad. And let's fire up LumaFusion. And here we are on the inside. Plug in the Pocket 3 to the iPad. Okay, so we are plugged in to the iPad. And right now, the Pocket 3 Inside LumaFusion, we're going to add a link to a folder. And we'll click that. It'll bring up everything on our iPad. We're going to go to that SD card. Now, this is the Pocket 3 right here. Here's the footage. We're going to click Open. Come on, click it. You're ready. Click Open. Open. Click it. There you go. Okay, so now we've got it right there in our linked folders, and here's everything that's on the Pocket 3, live and ready to go. Let's start a new project. We'll go uh, 4K 30, 16 by 9. Let's drop something in the timeline. Oh, let's look to see if we've got anything on our hard drive in the iPad. Nothing. Zeros. It's not holding any information right now whatsoever. We have not transferred any files to the iPad, they're all still on the Pocket 3. So let's drop something in the timeline. Okay, got a little minute clip, 30 second clip. Let's, uh, let's, do, a, let's do a quick edit. Nothing heavy, let's just up the contrast a little bit, bring down some of the brightness. Uh, not affecting any colors right now, this is just a really quick edit we're doing. And let's get it kind of where we want it more contrast the better i always say check it all through the clip looks pretty good let's go with that and let's export we're going to put it to photos we're going to go full res 4k send it off to photos right now it's processing the files in the Pocket 3, it's adding the layer adjustments, and then it's writing a complete uh, video off of all of what I've put in. So right now, it's it, there's nothing on the hard drive. It's, we're treating this like an external drive. 
I also think there's a button on LumaFusion you have to push that says edit with external hard drives because I think that's something you need to do. But here it is. And let's see if it wrote anything. Still zeros. No data on the iPad. Okay, so we're gonna shoot some. Okay, so we're gonna shoot some little 4K video. A lot, just kind of messing around. At my messy yard. Just gonna make a short little video. And, uh, And we'll bring it in and show you. This is set at 4K 60. I've got the uh, garbage truck driving by.